6.25, I just got done punching a punching bag till I skinned my knuckles and I was wearing gloves. I come inside, I'm about to make myself something I've been craving for like the last two days, but I've, set, I've decided to hold off on it because I figure someone else in my family is probably gonna want it if I make it. So I'm holding off, but today, now I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it with my chorizo. I'm about to make, I got my tortillas out and everything. Like, I'm ready for this, right? But guess what, guess what? One. Uno mas. I was gonna throw it, but I'd break it. Walmart doesn't open until seven o'clock. Seven. Seven. It's 6.26, I have to wait like 20 minutes to even bother going there. That, Dad said there's spare eggs in the garage. Man, all that for nothing. I take everything back, I am happy now. The sun is uneven. Oh. Oh no, it's like golden hour right now, so the sun is not hitting my face evenly, which isn't working for filming. All right, we're just gonna have to work with the weird lighting. All right, so good morning, everybody. Um, I ended up spending a lot more than I thought I would, but I got a whole, I wrote down all the money I spent, as well as the whole chart of like everything I ordered. It's something I really, 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 really wanna get that I that I don't, I didn't get, but I really, really want to get is a drone. I really want a drone so bad. I'm gonna have to wait though. I told myself though, if I get like another bonus, I'm buying a drone. I really want a drone. So this is the plan today. Um, if you didn't notice the mess back here, it's an organized mess because I'm cleaning my room. Finally, I, I have a whole bag of trash over here because I went through a bunch of junk. My desk is full of junk right now. I have papers, this stuff, this, this. I have this for heaven's sake. Like I have everything in here. So basically, I'm cleaning my room, and after that, I'm crossing my fingers on this because I'll probably bail halfway through, but I mean, it's still super early in the morning, so my plan, after I'm done cleaning my room, I wanna go out, and I wanna start doing things to the Jeep. Well, after that whole tangent about being productive or whatever in Jeep room, I fell asleep. Now it's 12.04. Um, I, I guess we still have the whole afternoon. Okay, ready? Yeah, I've just been watching Casey Neistat's videos and stuff, doing stuff like... I have stuff to do though, like, that's my desk, there's some other stuff, I mean like I started to organize and stuff, but there's still a lot of stuff that needs cleaned and I just haven't got around to it, so as much as I wanted to get to work on the Jeep today, I really do need to clean my room, I need to organize everything, I've never officially organized my room at all, it's always just needed organized and... So, I've never been good at just cleaning something and calling good. I always needed to organize something. And so, like, I can't just, you know, toss everything in a bin. Well... My room isn't exactly, you know, clean, but it's the cleanest it's gonna get for now. My parents were always complaining that I had all this stuff in the attic because I didn't know where else to put it, so I put it in the attic. Um, those are all Legos. All of them. Every single one of those boxes. That's Legos, 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 Legos. Legos, Legos, Legos. And they're all organized sets in these boxes. And then I have a whole bin. Right here, that's all just a bin of miscellaneous Legos, and that's just the bricks. I don't even have the Technic pieces. Those are in a completely different box over there. These are just the bricks. So many Legos, and I just don't have any motivation to work with them anymore. I was thinking, though, since it's quarantine and everything, I'm thinking about dumping the bin out and just, you know, maybe trying to build something interesting, just to see if I can get my inspiration back. I haven't been able to be inspired to build anything in forever and it just doesn't really interest me as much anymore. 
I actually really enjoyed putting these little things together. These were actually really cool um, for as long as they were around. I wasn't a huge fan when they switched to the bigger models. Uh, they're kind of cool. They're more scale, but these feel a lot... These little things were like 15 bucks and they felt just a lot more fun to put together and just, you know, complex and small scale and intricate. But I just really enjoyed putting these together. There was like so much detail that went into such a small scale model. And then when they came out with these, it felt more like I was putting a toy together again. So that was actually kind of disappointing. Not to mention that these are 20 bucks. But um, yeah, can't complain too much though. Um, I just really shouldn't be buying toys in the first place. I have more important things to do. They made like more of these scale models, which are my absolute favorite. But like I said, this is like 100 bucks if I wanted to get one of these, which I'm so tempted. They have a Mustang right now that looks so sick. I've wanted it since it came out. I just don't want to pay for it because $150 for what's basically just going to sit on my shelf. Oh, like, look at that. You can't not like that. You don't even have to like Legos. Just, you just have to appreciate the amount of detail that went into that. So, for Christmas a few years ago, my brother actually bought me this set. Bionicle was probably my favorite line of Legos. I actually wasn't a huge fan of the bricks until I got older. I was only, I was very partial to the Bionicle line. I mean, these things were the bomb. I have a whole box of some older ones. I had almost a full series. This is where most of my money went. These things were the coolest thing ever. And I never actually opened this one because my brother actually found this sealed in the box. And if you know what they are, it's so rare to have them sealed. And I'm so torn because on one hand, it's sealed in the box and I haven't got to put one of these together since they discontinued making them. It's been sitting in that box for about a year now. It's really cool, it was made in 2009, I think. So it's over 10 years old now and still sealed in the box. Really cool to have that set. It's almost like an antique to me, especially since I grew up loving these toys. This is gonna be a really weird video, like I said, cause I mean, <laughs> That's why I was gonna stop making the videos because I didn't really want to make videos like this. This isn't what I want to make. It's just what I have to deal with because I can't really go out. I can't, there's nothing I can do in the Jeep. If I went and got in the Jeep, I don't even know if it'll start right now. And I'm just waiting on all these parts, waiting on this list of parts to come in so I can do the repairs on the Jeep. And when that actually happens, like I don't like filming and working at the same time. So it just doesn't, it doesn't mix well for me to be working and filming the process. It just takes more time and I put all my equipment at risk that's all I have for you today. So thank you for watching this video. I know it was a little weird one. If you want to support my journey, um, I have a Patreon link down below. Where I also have t-shirts and coffee mugs I sell, the nature shot stuff. Show. Just one of my things I have here. I make these mugs as well as t-shirts and stickers. I think they're pretty cool. So if you go buy one of those down below, I get a little bit of cash back from that and that also really helps support me. So go check both those things out. And uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and yeah, have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching.